said you wanted to talk, so we're going to talk, only not here. I meant to be watching Summer in her concert. Not anymore. Get in. Still nothing? No. She's probably waiting for us inside. You know Billy. Can't keep him away from a church. <laughs> hey, all the gang's here. So what atrocity did you commit to deserve this? What? I borrowed my granddad's car without asking. Yeah, who scratched it. Granddad, I'm telling you, it was there before. <laughs> I'll see you now outside. It's so good to see you. Look, I, I'm sorry I've not been down to visit. I've just been so busy and, mm -hmm. well, you know, I like what you've done with your hair. Well, it's exactly the same, Aidan, so why don't we stop messing around and you tell me why I'm here? You know Dad's selling the factory? Ah, that's what I thought. Look, everything we've done as a family to build that place up. Is in the past. Johnny realises that, and so he's selling. So that's it? All those years of work? Was exactly that, work. Oh, come on, Aidan, it's just a business. No, you don't believe that. I know you don't. You and Dad poured everything into that factory. Yeah. Now it's your turn. What is it? You need me to stump up the cash so you can be the boss again, is that it? No. I want you to come back and run it with me. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? Where are you going? To get on with my life, Aidan. A life which, funnily enough, doesn't entirely revolve around a poxy knicker factory in Weatherfield. You should try it. Look, just wait. I've come all this way. Humor me. Why couldn't you come back? <laughs> You've got all your family there. Got people who love you, like Michelle, Roy. Yeah, you. and more than a few girls, Nick, Peter. Look, Nick's gone, and Peter's straightened himself out. I've got new responsibilities now. Well, what about your responsibilities to your family? Oh, come on, Carla, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, why the sudden party? Ah, oh, you've got Aiden to thank for that. It was his idea. And we all know why that is, don't we? Do you? Do we? Haven't you worked? Oh. Oh, oh that is good news. <laughs> oh, right, so everybody knows. Well, they do now. Knows what? Oh, crying out loud. Aiden's teaming up with Matthew Singh to reopen the factory. Oh? Oh, well, good news at last. Yep. Yeah. The machine is massive. It's back for 2018! <laughs> Hey, where is Aidan, anyway? Oh, he's just feeling a bit rough. He'll be back later. Well, I say that we should propose a toast in his absence. Really? Yeah, I mean, he's made mistakes. <clears throat> yeah, just a few. <laughs> well, the true measure of someone is when they pick themselves up and make amends. And give us our jobs back. <laughs> well, there is that as well. So, to Aidan! To Aidan! The saviour of the factory! To Aidan! To Aidan! <laughs> Sit down, here. Yeah. Peter, I don't know what else to say. Believe me, if I could go back and put this right, I would. Who do you think that is? I'm so sorry. Who is it? Who is it, Billy? I want you to say her name. Susan. Susan. That's right. Dad's got loads of pictures of her. Way more than he's got of me. Don't you think that's strange? Hmm? Me being her twin. It's just like you said, you... No, you no. want to be hurting yourself. Oh, no, no. It's not for me. If you feel as bad as you say you do, then you're going to need it. Looking through them. Take it from somebody who knows. Helps here, Peter. Drink. Such a lovely voice. Where's Todd? He's had to make a call. Still no sign of Billy. You see this? Forgot to tell you for him. Sorry, sorry. Swipe me. Oi, isn't that a sin? We're in a church. Give it here. 
Casey. Shh. Sorry. Monta. Oh, that is not real. It's a total Monta. Hey, let's see your profile. Casey. What's this? My phone's what it is. So, shh. I think Amy's bit's coming up. Oh, flipping egg. Mm. This is not that bad. You do realise the start of my problems with alcohol was when Susan died. I mean, wasn't a full-blown alcoholic until Lucy died, that's Simon's mum, that it came back. But it was the day of Susan's funeral. That was the first day I needed a drink to cope. I'm so sorry. Is that it? So, come on. Anything else? No. no. There's nothing I can say. Right. Then drink. And maybe I should talk about how close we were or... how when people say twins feel each other's pain is true. And our part of me died with her. And that was the only thing that came close to filling that gap. And now I don't even have this. Why didn't you just let me die? Hmm. You could have done. Yeah, yeah. I've been asking myself that. Just because you're a good man. Oh. Better than me. Because if someone would have been proud. Oh. Don't you dare tell me what she would have been like. We'll never know now, will we? Hey? Eh? Uh. After what you did. Christmas. Oh, there's a right there. I think I'm getting Santa's knee. Who's next? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Yasmin. I have to draw the line somewhere. They have all donated money. I don't flipping care. They are not... Kathy. Oh, it's nice to see you up and about. Yes, well, uh, things seem to have uh, calmed down a bit. Uh, yes, I'm so sorry. Well, come on, then. Let's see you in action. Yes. Let's. Oh, yes, of course, but I mean, <laughs> of course. Who's next? <coughs> oh, good, it's you. Yep. <coughs> oh, okay, then. Have you been a good girl? Brian, why are you speaking like that? I'm not Brian, I'm Santa. That beer's rubbish. Gosh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Got a spirited one here. I'm guessing Santa's belly's real, though. No, it's a cushion, actually. I mean, um, I may have rather uh, indulged uh, with the mince pies. Whatevs. Just hand over the present, yeah? Yes, well, I would, but I'm afraid you're on the naughty list. What? Uh, it said something about stock cubes. Turns out you're not getting any presents this year or next year or ever again. Um... <clears throat> In fact, you might get a lump of coal if you're lucky the year after that, but then that's it. You can consider yourself Cursed for all time. No more presents, no more snow, just winter after winter of terrible Christmases. Pain, misery and suffering. The merry, merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> Who's next? So you, you want me to drink myself to death? No, no. You see... This is only the first part. I just wanted you to see that booze can work to dull the pain. 
Hey. But you don't feel so guilty anymore, do you? Hmm? No. But I don't want you to forget what you've done. I don't want anybody to ever forget what you've done. That's why before I came, I went into Adam's office. I got Geraldine's number. Told her I had some information for her. Proof that you're not fit to be a parent. Something that will mean she can take Summer away. Susan never got a chance to see Adam grow up. So why should you get a chance to see Summer grow up? Please. But that's not all. Because now I want you to feel what Susan felt. They pronounced her dead on arrival at the hospital, but do you know what? Nobody could ever tell me how long she was conscious for. Exactly how long was it she was trapped in that car, thinking that her young son was dead or dying behind her, knowing that she was going to die herself? No. I want you to find out what that's like. Todd just disappears halfway through the concert. Something's clearly going on. I'm sure it's nothing, love. I wish they'd just talk to me. I'm better with them treating me like I'm a little kid. It's Billy. A parishioner died and with his family, they're a mess. Sorry I didn't call before, but I've not wanted to leave his mum. Worst it ever. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, poor Billy. Well, I better text him. I'm glad he's not bleeding to death in a street somewhere. Um, we need to find Todd now. Uh, no, you don't need to do anything. Let them sort themselves out. When they get home, we'll give them an earful. Right, I'm going to get rid of my coat. Why don't you have a look and see if there's some cheesy Christmas film on? OK. Gran, what are you...? Uh, yeah, I suppose. What's up? So come on then, Mr. Connor, let's give him something to gossip about in the new year. Kirk, restrain your woman, please. <laughs> I'd like to see him dry. Beth, step away from the twig. Oh, come on, babe. Christmas party snog does not count as cheating. It's <laughs> oh. been Crosby things. It's all this. Oh, Wonderworld Christmas party. Mm. And I'm on picking shift. Hey, you can still twerk from behind the Kirky, I bet Rihanna's done a Christmas song. On it. Right, so come on then. Why is there a weird 3D image of my face on your phone? Technically, it's not you. Hey. Oh, hey, how's Jackie? Good, yeah. Blimey, you weren't kidding in your message, were you? I've never seen it so busy. Where's Peter? Oh, uh, yeah, he's still feeling a bit rough, so oh. I'll get so, what you're saying, then, is basically, I'm your ideal woman? No, no, no. <laughs> Coincidentally, it bared a slight resemblance to you. <laughs> Peter was winding me up with things. It's not that funny. Oh, no, actually, it's a little bit tragic. Hey, maybe that's why your dates aren't working out. Maybe you are sabotaging them yourself because, subconsciously, you want to get back with me. <laughs> very much doubt it. Oh, really? Right, well, prove it. Merry Christmas, Chuck. More champagne. Hey. I've been meaning to speak to you, actually. Yeah? Yeah, just, um... About, you know, the future and about moving forward with his mates. I mean, you're doing so well with the business. You know, I'm really proud of you, don't you? Yeah. Right. Can I get you? Um, just bought the beer. But actually, I'm uh, just going to be a sec. Give us a sec, yeah. Aiden. Uh. 
No, please, don't hang up. Look, you were right, OK? Look, this is about you and me. And, and you know how much I care for you. I think you're making a huge mistake going back. Look, no, no, you, you listen, please. Look, do this for me. If you've ever cared for me, please. <sighs> right, <laughs> well, there's nothing more to say then, is there? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, when you got a sec. All right, love. What can I get you? What can I get you, but... uh, they're, they're just um, here on the uh, on the road. Well, in there. Shall she get that? Oh, really? Only she were in pubs with me five minutes before she started talking to you. So, unless she's got the Christmas squits or. Hang on, she's good. Gwendolyn. Been run away from me. What have you said to her? Nothing. It's been very charming, actually. Oh, oh, you tried to do your charming. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I've just had my daughter on the phone in tears saying that you put some weird Santa curse on her. Can Santa do curses? No, I was just pointing out to her that Santa only calls on good girls. Excuse me, what does that mean, my daughter? Well, to be fair, Dev, she yeah. was being very rude. Yeah? So what, you tell her that she's never going to get any uh, presents ever again and that she's going to endure endless Christmases of pain and suffering? Wow. <laughs> Sucks me at night, least of me. Now, I can see that, um, well, out of context, that does sound a little harsh. Hey, and he was well rude about Paw Patrol. You oh. monster! You know what? I'm not sorry. All this afternoon has proven is that the youth of today are overweight, undermannered reprobates who don't deserve the attentions of good old St Nick. Excuse me, did you just, did he just, did you just call my daughter fat? What? No, that was the other one. She was the oh, undermannered... Listen, what he's trying to say is that Asha had a part to play in it as well. So all I'm saying is that you have not heard the end of this. Yeah, yeah, Santa's quaking in his boots. Hey, Brian, you do realise you're not actually Santa, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I was being seasonally metaphorical. What? Dev's my boss. And? Well, you just put a Santa curse on his daughter. All right, I'll, I'll apologise. Yeah, 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 you do that. Quite like to keep me job. Hey, come on, let me take you out. There's a cool new bar in town. Working, babe. But you want it? Let's do it. Yeah, do you mind if I go home? I'm just feeling really rubbish. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I just, um, maybe not. Oh, go on. We can go. Thank you. Okay. Taxi! Bother. Even if I did meet the woman in my dreams, I'd probably mess it up. Oi! You've met her, haven't you? Huh? Oh, no, thank you. Been there, seen that, even got the flipping scars. No, no, no. No, you're more, um. Looking at me funny. Why are you looking at me funny? Well, because I'm trying to work out if I really want to do what I'm about to do or whether I'm just bored and. Lonely. I'm really quite tipsy. Why, what are you going to do? This. So? Yeah, all right. A coat, it's freezing. Sorry, I thought you'd nodded off. Oh, I was just resting my eyes. I work perfect and it's a wonderful life. So? Grand called. She told me not to tell anyone. Sorry. Oh, no, that that's that's okay. Did she say what it was about? No, she just said to meet her here at half past. Right. Well, how about we go and get no. your coat on? So again, oh. get, get. 
Todd? What's going on? Todd! Where are you going? I'm sorry. It won't take long. You could have waited till the end of the song. <laughs> Speech! That's like your cue to, you know, speak! <laughs> Don't confuse him. Look, I I'm pulling out of the deal. What? Look, Matthew Singh's going to be the sole owner. And he's bringing his own staff with him. So there are no jobs. What? You're joking. No. Look, I'm sorry. I really am. Sleep. Come on, have you not been here? Oh, all right, you got me. I was finishing my Christmas shopping. Oh, I knew it. Oh. I knew you'd leave it to the last minute. Yeah, well, were you being at your mum's and not with me? I, you know, wanted to, to make sure that I got it right. Oh, let's hope you have one. <laughs> <laughs> Our Five Nights of Festive continues next here on ITV when Al Murray pulls out all the stops to make Christmas great again. While over on ITV3 next, Claire Goose and Peter Firth star in the two-part thriller, Undeniable. <laughs>